Scott and Christy Lipke of Irvin, Kentucky, did their best to keep a close eye on their 22-month-old son, Nathan, at all times. But despite their efforts, on January 21st, 1995, they discovered that they could not keep him from harm's way. Nathan, he amazes me, just the things he can do. There's no stopping him. You tell him no, and it doesn't matter to Nathan. He smiles at you and does it anyway, 50 times if he could. That morning, Scott got home about quarter to five, and I had to be to work at five. And um, as soon as he came in the door, I was walking out the door. Okay. After Christy left, I realized that my only uniform that I had was dirty. Scott called me and he says, Chris, I've got to go do laundry. I won't have any clean clothes for tomorrow, but I'm going to come over there and get your car. You've got the car seats. My car. Usually we just drive it in emergency situations. It was almost out of gas. The tires were very low, one in particular, and I was worried that we may not make it over to the food mart. Scott said, keep Nathan in here with you for a few minutes. I'm gonna go put air in my tires. I said, no, I really can't. I can't, I can't do that. I'll take them. Come here, Matt. I'll take them, and I'll, I'll fill the tires, and I'll be back in just a second. Say bye-bye. See ya. Bye. 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 As I was pumping up the front passenger side tire, Nathan had unstrapped himself out of his seatbelt and started playing with the steering wheel. I buckled Nathan back into his seatbelt and shut the door again, but I left the car running because it was so cold outside. Sandra Rose and Stephanie Samples were working at the Shell Mart that day. Scott was out pumping air in his tires, and he left the little boy in the car. Stephanie say, oh, my, look. I was just saying a little prayer then. Please, you know, don't go into the gas pumps. I was scared that it was heading towards the street and there was traffic going by and stuff. The little boy was going to be hurt. Patrick Young, who'd only been a Kentucky State Trooper for six months, happened to be driving by. The car was, you know, obviously out of control and just reckless looking. Oh, then I noticed nobody was in the car. It picked up speed and the next thing I saw was you know, a little boy's head pop up. That changed the whole complexion of everything. I realized that I'm trying to save a life now. I was hoping somebody could stop that car. I didn't know who or what, but I, I feared for his life. The bridge was approaching faster than I had hoped, and I noticed that there was a car coming on the bridge. I just was so relieved. I just said thank you, and I said it. I said it over and over again. I was just happy, you know, that nothing was wrong with him. And his dad, he just grabbed us both and kind of hugged us, you know. When I saw Stephanie coming back with Nathan, I said, "Christy, could you come out here a minute?" And but she went all to pieces, of course, and I would have in that situation. I was so scared. I adore my kids. 
I just didn't know if I still had my little boy. It was kind of like I was in a dream. Everything was moving real slow. And Nathan looked at me and just smiled at me. And I grabbed him and it was like glue. You could not have peeled him away from me if you tried. And I told him, I said, honey, you had a little angel with you. Go for a ride, Betty, push you around. The whole situation has really opened our eyes. You can lose your children very quickly, and you need to watch at all times because you never know. I find myself hugging them a lot more and kissing them a lot more and, and just holding them and, and playing with them a lot more than I did before. Take a picture. What is this? Take the picture of a bunny right here. Never, ever not have your child in a car seat and never, never leave the car running with a minute. We didn't think that anything could happen, but then he was smarter than we gave him credit for. Neat car, huh? Flashlight versus big flashlight. I'm just so grateful that Trooper Young was where he was, he has a big ready for it all. Shiny, Daddy. I think that any other state trooper would have done the same thing. The hardest thing to deal with is just your emotion and not overreacting. Shout out to Officer Young. Shout out to your dad. <laughs> How about that? I can't tell him thank you Shout enough. Out to Daddy. I tried finding words, and there just aren't any. Uh, you want to drive the car now? He saved my kid's life. Give him, Give him five. five. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next. Apparently, Sharon Kerr was home alone, and she'd heard somebody knocking at the door. A guy and a girl that she didn't recognize. 